Claudia for and welcome to a brand new listening comprehension. Now today we're not going to be reading a fictional story. Instead, I'm going to be doing a reading from this non-fiction text called the Usborne World Atlas of Dinosaurs. Now this was written by a series of scientists, including two paleontologists or dinosaur bone experts called Dr. David Martill and Dr. Darren Naish. Hopefully, when listening to the information in this book today, it will inspire you with your dinosaur-themed work for the rest of the week. Without any further ado then, let's get cracking! Incredible animals. Around 240 million years ago, long before people existed, a new group of animals appeared on Earth. They were the dinosaurs. They included some of the largest ever land animals and some of the deadliest predators. No one has ever seen a live dinosaur as they all died out 65 million years ago. Reptiles were the difference. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Like other reptiles, such as crocodiles and lizards, dinosaurs laid eggs and had scaly waterproof skin. Most reptiles have legs that stick out sideways from their bodies but dinosaurs' legs supported their bodies from underneath. This meant dinosaurs' legs were stronger than other reptiles. Dinosaur variety. There were many different kinds or species of dinosaur. Some were no bigger than a hen, while others grew to be more than 10 times the size of an elephant. Meat-eating dinosaurs had razor-sharp teeth, whereas some plant-eating dinosaurs had toothless beaks. There were dinosaurs with horns on their faces or crests on their heads, and some even had frills around their necks. When did they live? Dinosaurs lived in a time known as the Mesozoic Era, which lasted from 250 to 65 million years ago. The Mesozoic Era is divided into three periods. The Triassic, when the dinosaurs first appeared, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. Each dinosaur species lived for a few million years and new species developed all of the time. Dinosaurs dominated the earth for 175 million years and were one of the most successful animal groups of all time. On this page there's a really good diagram which shows a timeline of the history of the earth and it's done in a really interesting and visual way. You can see that the Earth started in something called the Precambrian period and all the way along here you have the introduction of the dinosaurs in the Triassic period, followed by the Jurassic, followed by the Cretaceous and that was 65 million years ago. At that point the dinosaurs died out and you can see that's when the first humans as well as the first cats, the first elephants and the first horses appeared on Earth. Let's have a look now at these three different important periods in the dinosaur Mesozoic era. Triassic world. In the Triassic period, the animals and plants were very different to those around today. Reptiles dominated the land and skies and there were no grasses or flowering plants. It was during this time that the dinosaurs first appeared. Hot and dry. The earth is hottest near the equator, where the sun's rays hit the surface full on. When the dinosaurs first appeared, Pangaea lay across the equator. This meant that most of Pangaea was receiving direct rays from the sun, making the land hotter than it is today. Vast deserts stretched across the middle of Pangaea, and there was no ice on the poles. Living by the sea. Places near the sea have milder and wetter climates than areas inland. Pangaea's huge size meant that large areas of land were very, very far from the coast. These inland areas received very little rain. Fossils from the Triassic period showed that dinosaurs lived mostly near the coast, in the wetter areas and scrublands of Pangaea, although some may have lived in the deserts. Jurassic World During the Jurassic period, dinosaurs then spread out all over the earth. The first birds appeared too, although the skies were still dominated by flying reptiles. The rivers were filled with crocodiles and large reptiles called plesiosaurs, while dolphin-like ichthyosaurs, sharks and plesiosaurs swam in the seas and oceans. Warm and wet. 
As Pangaea broke up during the Jurassic period, huge seas formed between the continents. Sea levels rose and large sections of the continents were flooded. The world was cooler and more humid than it had been during the Triassic period, but it was still warmer than it is today. In this mild, wet climate, areas that had been like deserts during the Triassic period became covered in lush vegetation and huge forests grew over large parts of the earth. Jurassic Killers Many of the theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period were huge. Some grew up to 12 metres or 39 feet long and were capable of killing even the largest sauropods. They were able to use their sheer size, deadly teeth and strong jaws to overcome almost any animal. Smaller theropods were probably just as common, but fewer of them became fossils because their light hollow bodies were crushed easily and scattered. They would have relied more on speed and sharp claws to catch their prey, and some may have even hunted in packs. Finally, the Cretaceous world. Dinosaurs lived all over the world during the Cretaceous period. Many new species of dinosaurs developed and many of the animals and plants around today appeared for the very first time. These included new groups of mammals and insects, as well as many different types of birds. Changing climate. The Cretaceous climate was warm with wet and dry seasons. Tropical seas stretch as far north as London and New York and the temperatures never fell below freezing. Then, at the very end of the Cretaceous period, there were some dramatic climate changes. Sea levels dropped, temperature changed, and there were lots of volcanic eruptions. These changes could be part of the reason why the dinosaurs became extinct. The first flowers. The biggest change between the Jurassic and the Cretaceous period was the appearance of flowering plants. By the middle of the Cretaceous period, they had begun to spread across the world and had developed into many different species. Bees and wasps and butterflies, which fed on the flowering plants, also appeared for the very first time. So what happened to these creatures? Mass extinction. At the end of the Cretaceous period, there was a mass extinction of life on Earth. On land, all animals over two metres long died out and over 70% of marine life became extinct. No dinosaurs survived the extinction, and scientists are still trying to work out what happened. It's a Mesozoic mystery. Little evidence remains to show what really happened 65 million years ago. Most scientists think that an asteroid impact killed the dinosaurs, although others argue that the climate change or the volcanic eruptions may have been what wiped them out. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the dinosaurs from this text today. We're going to be doing so much about the dinosaurs this week as it is our school's topic. Have a go at the questions now. Good luck.